the four steps of digital marketing. So the first one is to define the target audience. Not everybody needs the product you are selling. You can take your product and put it in front of everybody, but it will just be a huge waste of money since not everybody needs that product. Not everybody is interested in that product. So isn't it better to just show that product to the people who are interested and probably have more intentions to buy that product? This way you have more budget and you can show that product to those specific people several times so it will increase the chance of convincing them and for you to make more money right so this is why it is important as a first step to define our target audience the second step is to appear where the target audience is looking for that specific product for example let's say you're selling headphones where people, where those target audience who are interested in buying a headphone will look for that product. Will they look for it on Google? Probably. Will they look for it on Amazon? Of course, they may go there and search for it specifically, for example, headphones, and even buy one, right? But those target audience, probably they won't go on TikTok and search for headphones, right? So knowing where they will look for it is extremely important because when you know this exactly, you can be prepared there. So when they're looking for that product, hey, you're there and ready to convince them. The third step is to convince the target audience to take action. Now, this taking action can be anything. You can convince them to buy a product you can convince them to sign up on your email list to complete a survey um, to follow you on your social media account it can be anything and this step is where the marketing strategies comes okay the strategies that help you to convince people to take an action and as we go forward we will go deep into each of these steps and I will show you a lot of examples and together we will practice with real life examples so you can get better at this stuff, right? Now, you may say that, all right, till now, the first step was defining the audience. The second step is to appear where they are looking for that product. And the third step is to convince them to buy the product. Isn't it all the steps that we need in digital marketing? You are probably right, but the fourth step is a guarantee for your sales to continue over and over. So in digital marketing, you define your audience, you set up a great, for example, website, a store, and you, do, you make a lot of marketing strategies and you convince people to buy your product and you start to sell very well, right? So what is the fourth step for? The fourth step is to measure and optimize. When you complete the first three steps, people will start buying your product. And you may say, okay, that's enough. Let it just go for itself and let's make some money. But this will not continue forever. Market will change. The people's taste may change. For example, your competitors may come out and offer your target audience a better deal or a better product with higher quality. So there are a lot of different factors that can affect your digital marketing strategy. And the fourth step is here to make sure you keep making money, you keep selling the product, you keep convincing people to take that action which you are interested in. Imagine you're driving in a road and on the sides of the road, there are different type of signs, right? We all saw them. For example, a sign may tell you that after 200 meter, you should turn to the right, okay? So if you don't see the sign and you have high speed, probably when you get there, you will have problems and you will maybe go out of the road. Now, the same story is happening in digital marketing. There are different signs that will show you that, hey, in the next upcoming months, you will have faced these problems. You will 
have uh, issues with sales, your sales may decrease for different reasons. And during the fourth step, I will teach you where to look for these signs, how to see these signs, and how to translate them, how to understand the meaning of these signs so you can fix and improve your business, your marketing strategy, whatever it is, before that problem hit you, before the market change and your sales decrease, okay? So all of these four steps are extremely important for you to have a successful digital marketing system. It doesn't matter if it is your own business, if you are producing a product, if you are working for a company and doing marketing for the product, you just need to follow these four steps and the results will be amazing. As I said, as we go forward, we will go deep into each of these steps. For example, during the next section, we will talk about defining the target audience and where we can uh, appear, where we can be ready to convince our target audience. And as we go forward during the course, we'll go deeper into each of these steps and learn more about it. For example, social media marketing strategies, they all sit into the third step, which is convincing people to take action. Again, you can come here on this webpage and have a look at the summaries and the written documents of all these four steps, okay? So 